Remember way back when, when we were in school and in the middle of the semester, you really had no idea what grade you were getting and you kind of just figured what grade you're getting by kind of, you know, an informal average in your head about the different homework assignments you've had and what grades you got in the tests and things like that. You really didn't know what grade you're getting until your progress report came out. And by that time, you may have dug yourself too big of a hole to really dig out of it, you know, but compare that to today where students get, you know, real time information on their grade on an ongoing basis on technology and their parents get it as well. So everybody has that information right away. So if things start to go south, self-correct right away, right? Well, that reminds me of call center software. There's actually a lot of ways you can empower your call center software agents to self-correct by giving them some great information real time so that they, they're always aware of how they're doing, right? It can only help them. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about four different reports that are kind of, in my mind, the top reports that your company should be using to publish to your call center agents to help them self-correct on an ongoing basis and so that their managers can see the information in real time and the agents themselves. But first, before I get too far ahead of myself, if you'd like my recommendation on the best call center software vendors your company should be quoting, and especially these days, AI call center software vendors, reach out and contact me. Send me an email, give me a call. This is what I do, I'm a broker for all the major service providers out there and I will help your company make a lot better decision in a fraction of the time. It's the reason why I do these videos. So reach out and contact me. If you liked the video and you got something out of it, it's a nice way to say thank you. Just send me an email and give me a call. More information on that at the end of the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my weekly videos that I put out. And if you liked the video, hit the like button, ring the bell, and just, hey, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Ask me a question. I'd love to, I'd love to respond. I try to respond to every single comment that I get on the YouTube channel. So let's hear ya. So here are four reports that your company could use to empower your call center software agents to self-correct. Number one is wall boards. I know that's nothing new, that wall boards have been out around a while, but a wall board is a great way to help your agent self-correct. You could have a wall board in front, you know, just front and center in front of the entire call center, or you can have wall boards just on the dashboard of every call center software agent, so on their specific application, or you can just have the wall board on the manager's application on their call center software. Either way, it's a way for an agent to see on an ongoing basis how they're doing, and you can have different metrics on the wall board, like you know customer satisfaction or number of calls answered. You know, think it. Whatever metric is important, whatever key metric is important to your company, you can display on that wall board and you can have it trending. The second report you can utilize is through AI. You can have AI doing automatic CSAT scores, so customer satisfaction scores. So no, you know, before AI, you'd have to wait for customers to fill out surveys at the end of calls and only like two or 3% ever filled them out and that was only like an extremely happy customer or extremely dissatisfied customer, so they weren't very reliable. But through AI, AI can automatically do a CSAT score. And if the customer leaves their own CSAT score, it'll, it'll override the AI score, but the AI score is nice because it'll do it on every single call and agents can see how they're trending for CSAT scores. Number three is you can show agents reports on their ongoing call scores. So you can score every single call through AI automatically without a call manager having to do it. And it can, it can score them based on whatever metrics that you set up. Like for instance, hey, we always want our agents to say this thing in the beginning of the call. We always wanna make sure at some point in the call they ask them this question. You know, and that's how you're basing your overall call score for your company to say like, hey, this is how that agent did on the call in terms of doing the things we said we'd like them to do. So AI can do that for you and it can add, have an ongoing score for your agent and they can see their score 
overall, they can see their trend today, they can see how they're trending over the week. So it allows an agent to, to see, hey, I'm not really, oops, I'm forgetting, I'm getting in a bad habit of forgetting to say that one thing in the beginning of every call. So they can self-correct right away before your manager notices it like six months from now. The fourth report, and the last one I'm gonna talk about today, is your company can pull a, re a report on agents' wrap time, meaning that how long are they taking in between calls before they take another call? What's their average wrap time? How is it trending? So you can show that to the agents. They can see it on an ongoing basis. So it kind of exposes, hey, you're taking a long time. Your average wrap time is you know, 25 minutes. Well, why is that it taking so long? That's a long time, right? As opposed to maybe three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, whatever is normal for your company. So it's good to show the agent that information, kind of lets them know that, that that's available, not only to them, but other people are watching as well. And you know, you can put it up on the wall board if you want, like I mentioned in number one, but another good report to self, give them some self-awareness and empower them to self-correct. So I hope you liked that information. If so, if you'd like my recommendation on the best cloud contact center vendors your company should be quoting, reach out, send me an email, give me a call. I'd love to help you. I'm a broker for all the major cloud call center service providers in the industry, and I've been doing this for over 20 years. So I know the industry inside and out. And if you reach out and contact me, I'll ask you a few questions about your company's requirements. And based on those answers, I'll pair you up with the best service providers that your company should be quoting. You know, who has the best reputation for doing you know, what you guys need? Who has the best uptime? Who has the best customer service? Who can do the specific things that we talked about today in this video? All kinds of good stuff. So no need to waste your time Googling this or trying to find it on your own or maybe accidentally stumbling across the worst provider in the industry and you didn't even know it because the rep said they were fantastic. None of that has to happen. Just reach out, send me an email, give me a call, I'm happy to help. I will also introduce you to the best salespeople at those service providers. I'll oversee the quoting process to make sure you get the best pricing possible on the vendor of your choice. And the nice thing is on top of all that, I won't charge your company a dime for my services. The service provider pays my company my broker fee. So there's absolutely no excuse not to at least reach out and see what I have to say about your company's requirements and see if I can recommend something that sounds interesting. Okay, so definitely reach out, give me a call, send me an email, I'd love to help. And as always, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you like the video, hit the like button, ring the bell, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.